today I'm here with Christmas make number five and it's not what I'm wearing. Hi I'm Hales and welcome to my channel. Thanks to those of you who are sticking with me in this series that I'm doing, it's the 12 makes of Christmas. All the videos that I'm putting throughout the month of December in this little mini series will be added to a playlist and I'll link that at the end of the video if there's some that you just haven't caught. Also, please hit that subscribe if you haven't done so already, so that's another way of keeping in touch with what is going on. So this is make number five out of 12. I am getting a bit stressed out, and I'll come to that in a minute, but I will show you what I'm wearing to start with, because what I'm hopefully uploading this on Friday, which is in the UK is the unofficial or official Christmas jumper day. I say national Christmas jumper day, just Christmas jumper day. And I made this two years ago as part of a competition and I won and I won some vouchers for my entry. Now bear in mind this was made two years ago to my body measurements of two years ago. So just bear that in mind. Let me show you. I will step back and I'll lift my nosy chair out of the way and here we go. So we have a, a ho 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 and we have reversible sequins as a stocking. Now, I say it because it's way too short and too tight to really be as a jumper and it is McCall's 6992, this one here, and it's really more t-shirt measurements rather than sweatshirt. So I won't be wearing this to work tomorrow but I thought I would stick with the theme and wear it for this video. So what I've actually made, and Christmas make number five is a Christmas jumper, but it is not for me, it's for my daughter. And here she is, looking pud. Now my daughter saw a jumper, a Christmas jumper in the shop which said looking pud. That's what, this is her idea, this is what she said she wanted. So I will start off with the actual pattern that I use, which is Anyone who's been watching my channel for a while will be not surprised to know that this is actually the Mrs. Sue Rowan Tee and it is a free PDF t-shirt pattern actually which I just sort of cut the largest size and increased the, the width of it um, just to make it bigger because obviously I wanted to make it as a jumper to go over a t-shirt. It came out super super long so I cut off like this much, probably like three inches from the bottom so it is quite wide and it isn't a, a pattern specifically for a jumper or sweater but I'm just going with what I have and I, this fabric, so this is a rib knit and this is what I bought from the Festival of Fabric when I went in Phil, went to the one in Felixstowe at the end of, I want to say the end of August but I think it was the very beginning of September that I went and I got an off cut and I think it was three pounds and it was sitting in my stash and I didn't know what to do with it and I didn't think I'd have enough for the sleeves and I cut the sleeves out and there wasn't enough in one piece to cut because the sleeve pattern for the biggest size is actually quite short so I added a cuff onto the bottom it is a little bit stretched out and one was really stretched out so I cut it off and then hemmed it and then reattached a different cuff and so it's not quite so sticky outy. I will put a photo in of my daughter wearing it. She wasn't in a happy place today, shall we say, so um, her face is not in the photo, she didn't want that. And she, I put her to bed early after swimming lessons, so she is not here to pose for it, I'm afraid. So you'll just have to take my word for it. It does fit, it is quite big. She will wear it to school tomorrow. And that isn't like she will wear it to school tomorrow. They're having a jumper day at school tomorrow, which is also my incentive for making her the jumper. With the collar, um, not the collar, the neck band, that went on okay, but it was sort of flipping up. And I thought I don't want to top stitch the way you'd have like top stitching around a band on a t-shirt because I like, I like it's a bit strange on a jumper. You can get away with that on a t-shirt, but the jumper generally doesn't have that. But it kept flipping up. So I literally, if that's going to focus and on my face, zigzagged over the top. Um, just at the back, just there we go. It's in a grey, I didn't have any green. <laughs> I didn't have like much green cotton. So um, that has just sort of hold, held it in place 
and then I've just ironed it so hopefully that will stay and that the neckband won't like flip up and the wording was literally just cut out of felt and I just zigzagged it on and the same with the Christmas pudding it's a sparkly white felt the red is from some pom-pom trim that I had so I, I um, slipped that off the trim and just hand stitched them on and I did put a couple of hand stitches in the top of the leaves of the holly so they didn't just flop out and then just zigzagged round the whole Christmas pudding to have the effect there. Now I was going to make myself a jumper for Christmas this year and I even bought the pattern Simplicity 8529 which is like the the to uh, what's it called it so house seven like they have their toaster pattern toaster sweater pattern there we go get my words out um and it's more or less the same thing it came with a magazine but i bought this one off ebay and i bought some ponte roma and i had ideas of making like the sort of funnel color and where is my fabric actually i have no idea where i put my fabric but it's kind of like a light terracotta -y sort of colour. I wanted pale pink and I thought I was going to put some string of like lights with some coloured pom-pom. I even got the pom-poms. You probably don't care but I wanted to show you because I did... Where's it gone? Um, in here. Like I bought coloured, I bought coloured pom-poms and everything and I was going to like Put it like that with a string of lights so it looked like you know Christmas jumper decorated all up for Christmas. I just haven't had time. I felt really I feel really tired. I think it's because it's so dark at the minute. We're approaching the shortest day in the UK, which I think someone said today was the 21st of December. So it's like the minimum amount of time of daylight we get. I just felt exhausted and I didn't want to put the pressure on so it is Christmas jumper day at work tomorrow um I don't think I'm gonna wear this because I get really hot at work and this is tight and I'm rushing around so I do have quite a bobbled H&M one I bought a few years ago and I may just like get that out of the back of the wardrobe and wear that or just wear like a red top or something so it kind of looks Christmassy it's like a sort of a non-uniform day as it were so we don't have to dress as smart but they're making all class the whole class is making mince pies so when you've got like 20 kids all the ovens on rushing around clearing up and washing up and it's hot to be wearing a jumper so I thought no I just don't need to put that pressure on myself I make one for my daughter it's obviously miniature size and it's a pattern that I've used before just able to size up and it was quite I was quite able I was able to just get it done and I didn't feel too much pressure and if it went horribly wrong I'd go to like I don't know just like somewhere and get her a t-shirt or something like that or just something to decorate a normal jumper so she wore it to swimming lessons I'm going to swimming lessons tonight for the first time and it was fine she didn't complain so then she said she will wear it at school tomorrow so this is my Christmas make number five they may be Christmas week number six may be filmed on Saturday I'm trying to fit this in I've had done hardly any Christmas shopping and if it wasn't for Amazon Prime I would have bought absolutely nothing so thank goodness for that and thank goodness for delivery drivers who will leave things in secure places because it's, who has time to be sitting in all day waiting for parcels so yes I feel I'm feeling a bit just stressed I've got only got one more week left at work but then that also means it's not long until Christmas so yeah so I'm trying to plow through with my 12 makes it's a stupid goal that I set myself but has anybody else made a Christmas jumper this year or are you team shop bought I'm certainly maybe one day this will fit I'll just wait until my daughter is like big enough and she can wear it which I'm sure she won't but it was worth this making this one at the time because like I said I got the the fabric was fairly cheap and then I won some I think it was Instagram won the competition got some vouchers so I bought some fabric which cost more than the fabric I used to make this jumper so it kind of like paid for itself enough of my waffle so this is mate number five please hit subscribe and I will see you again with mate number six at some point soon this is back to front I'm looking at this in my viewfinder and the the words are showing up back to front it says in real life looking pud 
does that say? Nickel, nickel dub. I don't know. Perhaps maybe that's just my viewfinder. <laughs>